The campaign, which kicked off on the 30th of April, was started at the encouragement of regional council staff and others who called for the region to own the campaign and act as example to the broader countrywide cleanup campaign. While the national campaign is only slated for the 25th of May, the region could not wait and representatives say it would be difficult for them to achieve their objective of a clean region in such little time and with their limited resources. Special advisor to the governor, Michael Mwinga, says the region has identified 73 zones to be cleared by the main day. As such, operations would first concentrate on clearing out soft zones before moving on to hot spots where heavy machinery would be required. The cleaning is started already from the cities and it's going on. These are the pockets where we see nearby localities where we are attracting our eyes that should be cleaned. So we are doing that, we are monitoring that. Despite maybe the hot spots which will be identified that could not be done with this instrument that they are doing, they are heavy. So they then will, we will pull the trucks and the, the, the plant loaders and others. So this is the ongoing process. Acting Chief Regional Officer Theopolina Mbangula emphasized that the region will benefit greatly from the campaign as it will contribute to a healthy work and living environment and minimize the risk of unwanted elements. Bangula called on other officers in the region to follow suit and start to clean their own premises before the main day. This is just the beginning, so let us not uh, become complacent. We repeat this again next year and the following year. I'm sure Namibia will still have that top ranking as the most cleanest town, as the cleanest country as it was before. Through various contributors, the region has already secured some of the materials and equipment to be used during the cleaning operations. These include 27 trucks, 26 delivery vans, 9 tractors, 8 front-end loaders, 350,000 refuse bags, 250 pairs of hand gloves and 250,000 protective masks. The main cleaning campaign will be launched at Oneshila Informal Settlement in the regional capital Oshikati on the 25th of May 2018 when the remaining zones will be cleared.